hey loves how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel my name is maggie aching if you are new here you're very welcome if you are a returning subby always good to have you here good 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 to have you here now today i want to talk about um pricing when you're opening builds for kids this is mainly for those who open like baby light baby medium and heavy rummage okay so i want to talk about pricing for that because i did a, a video on pricing but that video i did on pricing cannot apply to this particular build for kids okay so that's what i want to i wanted to explain to you guys so if you have not clicked the subscribe button please click the subscribe button please we are on the road to 3k subscribers please click the subscribe button and like this video and turn on your post notifications okay so now um i did a video earlier on pricing for builds you can go check that video out if you haven't watched it already um and i want to talk about specifically baby medium and baby light now when you open your baby medium or your baby light or heavy ramage you guys know that inside this bill there's a mixture of jeans dress sweaters um some tights vests shorts you know that right so the moment you open your bill and categorize your first camera okay now your first camera you calculate them as in you'll just count them see what you have but now here is where the trick comes in you see your first camera you can't count all the pieces together to divide with your capital the way i told you guys because you'll definitely operate at a loss now when you're opening kids bills what i need you guys to understand is that you need to have a pricing for every product okay the price that you're going to sell a dress for can never be the price that you'll sell a t-shirt for or a vest for so please do your pricing such that dresses jeans jackets definitely have a higher price and then like t-shirts vests shorts have a lower price okay so when you're doing your pricing for kids build please keep that in mind so that you're able to maximize on profits and recover your capital faster okay because i figured the video i did on pricing might mislead someone who is opening this particular build for kids so that's why i figured i should come and tell you guys when you're doing pricing for kids please 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 categorize these three things separately because um parents out there i mean even you guys know even me as a parent i know um there's nowhere i'm going to get jeans for my kids for anything less than 400 bob that's that's a rumor yeah there's no way i'm going to get a beautiful dress for my daughter for anything less than 500 bob you know yeah so you can sell a t-shirt for like 200 bob like tights 200 bob like vests but a dress jackets jeans there's no way you can sell for lower prices so please be keen when you're opening this build categorize those things okay so the the dresses jackets jeans and even heavy sweaters please let those have a higher price range at, um than any other thing in that bill okay now the t-shirt and the vest then you can sell at um lower price yeah but still at the camera price sour, sour. so i hope this video has been helpful if you're opening a bill for kids please don't put a flat rate for everything at when you open a bill and you're opening a kid's bill do not put a flat rate okay please don't put a flat rate weka hizi vitu kando kando be yangu na be ya trao na be ya hizo madenim jacket as easy kwa be same na za tisho sawa sawa so you guys please be keen on that sour and then one other thing that i wanted to tell you guys the moment you open your bill and you have already recovered your capital you have made your profit some people normally ask what do you do with this like fagia personally i have a place where we take to the market yeah so i'm fortunate enough to take mine to the markets um open air yeah i have someone who does that for me i am happy for that so that's where i took i take mine personally so i normally told you guys you can take them to the open air market another thing you can put like uh you see this laundry baskets that we normally have you can put that outside your shop and then now these five gears you can put them there and even put them for little prices like 50 bob 100 bob you know trust me imagine even if you sell camera only the people who come to your shop and wouldn't mind buying 
something that has like a small hole because they'll just go and repair it you know so still those don't hide them in a kagunia somewhere you can also put them outside also for kids clothing you know kids don't wear clothes for long yeah so sometimes there are parents who feel they don't need to spend all that money so they will buy is of a gear so if you're mindful of where will you take your fa gears just put them up on jekwaka basket sawa sawa and put a prize of like 50 bob and 10 bob and you know another trick is that when you put a basket like that outside your shop with a very cheap price tag with like 50 bob and 100 bob that's also a marketing strategy because the moment someone says Ish, what is that thing over there being sold at 50 bob they will automatically come and check them out and the moment they come and check them out and they see inside of course they're entering of course they're buying you know they'll see something nice and another thing if you're opening this build for kids this like in a baby medium baby light baby nini to make things easier to make you sell better try and um match them yeah get a nice pair of uh t-shirt like for four years match them with like jeans for four years okay as in try and put sets for people such that even when someone comes to buy an apata card dress top yakadem natu tights to support to melinganisha you know just put in the work yeah when you open a kids bill put in the work sell them zikiwevo pamoja pamoja it'll get it'll get you like bigger sales better sales okay as opposed to kweka kando kando yes there's some that you can weka kando kando but also in terms of display it will definitely look better and it itarahi sishia wateja wako kazi when you linganisha them. Yeah? Sawa sawa. So yes, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like, like this video. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And yeah, I am happy. I am so, so happy and I am grateful. And for each and every single 2,700 and 80 something subscribers each and every single one of you i appreciate you i pray that god blesses you guys and increases you guys in ways that you do not even you have not even thought about may god increase you guys so, so. so i'll see you guys in my next video god bless you guys and yeah until my next video bye bye